Okay, okay, what's up guys? Let's do this. The new rig here. So first we're gonna do is I'll just get two of these controls and change the arms to FK. Yeah, that's it. So they should move with yeah, that's cool. Alright guys, so let's get this walk reference. This one here, yeah. So contact step down frames so basically every three three frames we're doing it we're gonna follow this more or less you know similar to what we're looking for all right guys so first things first contact pose so this will be back and then we'll have a foot roll here which is kind of a little bit up yeah and then we want to use this inside control it's going to bring it down a bit so if we bring the character down a bit and move move it back a bit and move that one forward with a roll going up okay you know we don't want to lock it out we want to keep it a bit bent Okay, so that's the starting pose. Normally I do it in the side pose there. So that looks pretty cool to me, man. Could move this back a bit. If we move it back a bit, then I might roll it a little bit more. Okay. So I just select all the keys here and key. And then we'll go to number four. Number four is going to have a step. So this is going to be zero. And then what else is going to happen? We'll move it, because we're doing it on the spot, we'll move it back. So the foot is kind of perpendicular, like, or kind of the leg is at a right angle. And then we'll come down, because the weight obviously is coming down. And then the next foot, it's starting to come off the ground. So we'll just roll it, roll it a bit more. Like this. And then I'll just key it, select everything and key it. The other thing we need to do is, and we might as well do it now, is you select the hips. And we obviously want to rotate it leaning forward. like that because obviously the foot that's going forward the leading foot is going to be the one where the hips are going to be going forward as well when you when your when your left leg or your right leg is going forward the, the hips are going towards that way as well and then that way yeah so you're going to lead it's leading that actual foot that's going forward so what we'll do now for the sake of just blocking and stuff I'll delete these keys here, so we've got it. We'll just uh, put it in constant, so it's like, so it's just pose to pose. So we can clearly get them specifically sculpted, right, all these poses. So then we've got the passing pose. So the passing pose is basically this foot comes back in the middle. And I haven't got a picker, which I should have, but that's all right and then this comes straight but not it's not locked not like that yeah so there's a little bend and the passing position here comes forward up and here here is kind of like kind of like this i guess we could rotate the toe as well like that so we've got that coming up so what we'll do we'll just key everything here and then number 10 will be slightly higher hips and 
and this comes back but as it comes back there'll be a slight let's add a slight let's add a slight rotation to that and this foot coming forward that will be a bit more like this looking at the reference and the toe is more coming down as well we'll just key all that and then we can also come in here make sure everything's constant sometimes it doesn't go constant Maya just plays around like that so we come here now what I do here is I normally copy so if we go to there's loads of ways of doing this but I just get the legs basically duplicate the legs unparent it so it's outside and then I'll get everything and then unselect actually let's get the legs put it in a layer just for temporary so I don't select it yeah basically I'll just copy and paste the first pose here and I know it's wrong in terms of position so all you're doing now is you're getting that leg and you're moving it here <clears throat> also the foot roll is the other way so you just you're just roughly trying to match up that's all you're doing and then you get the other the other leg and just move it back so you're just roughly trying to just trying to move it back here and then you can kind of move the hips down just to match it doesn't have to be exact just roughly then you can delete that little guide and then you you've got a little cycle there so what i'll do here this is all stepped yeah i stepped yeah so you've got that and now the same thing again all we're doing is the other other side so we'll get the this here and then we'll zero it out bring it back bring the weight down on the character foot roll is just coming up key everything there move to the next one the next one is going to be the passing position so he'll be up it's coming in the middle up higher here then we'll just rotate rotate this so this is the passing position which we could have like that see that so you're starting to see it's kind of moving so we're getting the poses in <coughs> go to 25 here sorry so it's free free okay again it's going to be slightly higher here passing position this leg comes back so we're going past the passing position and we're just going to add a little bit of a little enough that the foot dust bend bends there a bit because we don't want it to lock out then we could always polish it later and the same here we're just bringing this back like here then we'll just add a little bit of a toe flop toe flop and then at the end is quite easy because all you have to do is copy and paste the first pose to the last pose and then you can step it all that was blind and then yeah 
we've got a little cycle there so you've got the, all the main steps in and then obviously we're gonna have to polish this a lot more but at least we've got the steps in and also now what we can do we can come in here put the rotation here in Y at 8 and we can do it at the end as well and in the middle we'll do it to minus 8 because you know we need that and then if we come into the graph editor here you can see in the middle here so what we can do if we start moving these points down to just so we can get a little idea of how the rotations would work it's, it's just smooths it out and stepped a bit more we might have to polish that a bit more but at least we've got that happening okay and the other thing we can do is while we're here is when we step remember when we step come up the weight goes on the on the on the side naturally it goes naturally the weight is going to go on this leg because all the weight is on this leg here so we move we just move the x slightly then we come back the other way so if we go here we can see the x value is minus so let's put minus three just to make it easier and on the other side we can put three and then if we go to the translation here we can see they're all in there then we can just start just start moving these and trying to start smoothing it out in blocked and you'll see here i'll just start going like side to side so that's a good kind of a good practice because if i didn't bring these all down what you, what happens is then we're going to start splining so we flatten them see so it's just easy and then we can go in the middle and spline them so i press alt alt f is a shortcut i have for for flattening i'll leave a script a link for a script for that so it's just shortcuts i use you can go right into here spline and flat but you know normally i move the keys down so that when i do spline it's it's not as much work you know it's like it's just basically just flattening and splining but anyway put it back to here and that's it so we've got like our basic blocking and i would say the only thing i would say is you see these pole vectors you just want to make sure these are always straight so we can go through each one and we're just making sure that they're facing straight because that will cause a lot of uh, snapping okay all right let's do that the same as the first all right yeah okay all right guys we blocked it out and then we'll start uh we'll start doing the oh what we can do is also block out so we've got this so each time he comes up there's a c shape in in the character that you want and i'll show you what i mean so let's do this now so it's kind of like this okay then we'll come the other way and we'll do the same thing because it's taken the weight and then we can always tone this down see each each time there's a step the overall body there's going to be a c and this way this is what show this shape is what's going to show the whoops it's going to show the weight change so we put them in now also while we're here we go to the start and what we can do is we'll have the shoulders opposing so it's this way not too much you know we don't want too much so let's see what is that minus or right, minus 10 yeah just to make it easier 10 and in the middle it will be 10 and then again if we go into the graph editor you can see so if i look now if you look now at the animation and you play it it's all blocky so what that's blocky because these are not smoothed out if we could just start smoothing these out like this then they'll start it but you can do it in spline too you don't have to do it you don't have to do it now 
same thing here you see here so we'll just quickly let's quickly just smooth these out they're fine and then we've got quickly save this before we lose it okay so we've got that and then that one actually let me just zoom out so I don't have to keep bringing so if we look here same thing all we're doing is smoothing it out slowly we leave the middle one where it is there we'll just roughly it's not like we'll just roughly do it and that one is and then this one as well that's all we do we're just roughly roughly getting them ready there and then the last one here and we'll just get this it will just make it look smoother in blocking there so there's a bit of a movement so we can always tweak that the c shape in the hips ah uh, in the chest sorry and then we can do the head later that's not a problem all right guys i'll see you in the next video we're going to be splining flattening out splining just working on the legs a bit more trying to get it a bit more smooth and then we'll start doing like the normal stuff polishing adding the little fun details right at the end of this uh, little mini course on how to do a walk all right guys i'll see you in the next video